but it's clear Never seemed to reach Twinkle can't rely on a miracle Nebulous, all of birth within In the ever-spreading vast eternity Long kids Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome to Let's Play Conception Plus, Maidens of the Twelve Stars. Uh, so I believe it was last year, I actually finished up my playthrough of Conception 2 on the channel, and uh, since today, uh, the first game uh, was localized and brought over to America, I figured, you know, might as well let's play this one too. Um, you'll have to forgive me though if I try to go through this game a little fast. Because in another, like, week and a half, Pokemon Shield comes out, and I really want to get to that as soon as I can, so... I'm challenging myself to beat this within, like, the nine days before it launches, or, like, ten days before it launches. So, let's see how I do, right? Alright, so, let's start up our new game. You know, I completely forgot to think of a name for the Pro Tag. I mean, I'm just gonna put my name as the first name, as usual. Which last name do I like? Tojo. I'm playing too much jokes lately. Fuck it. I'll, I'll go Tojo for my last name. John Tojo. That's really fucking stupid. You know, I'll go with Amano. Alright, John Amano. Birthday is September 6th. Blood type, uh... I don't know what this will do, but, uh... I, I, I actually don't know what blood type I am. I should probably learn what blood type I am. Um... Let's go with O. Yeah, this is alright. Change to swimsuit outfits. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably wait to do that. <laughs> I'll just leave, leave everything the way it is for right now. Anyway. I'm, I'm so used to the Danganronpa pronunciation, so that's what I'm gonna do. Mahiro Konatsuki. The girl I grew up with. And my childhood friend. She gets high marks in academics and sports. She's always taking care of others. She's what you'd call the popular girl at school. Three years ago, my parents died in an accident. Now I live with her family at their house. Sorry, did you wait long? Thank you for coming. Sorry for calling you out here even though we're in the middle of exams. It's fine. Even if I went back, I wouldn't have anything to do besides studying. Then again, I didn't do so good on the English exam today. That's your fault for playing games instead of studying. That's fair. Anyway, 
It's rare for us to meet at school like this. Yeah. There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. You know, I think I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit. That looks a little loud. A lot louder than I thought it was going to be. So my apologies if you hear the sound decreasing during the video. I know, I'm completely unprofessional. Should have adjusted this beforehand, you dumbass. But, you know, here I am. Doing shit on the fly, as usual. That should be a little better. <laughs> no way! You play too many games. Oh, I, I didn't read that line. Oh well. Well, she invited us to the roof. We used to play games together all the time. That was a long time ago. We have to prepare for college exams next year, so there's no time for that. I guess so. So what did you want to talk about? Is it something you don't want your mother to not to hear? Yeah, not really. Hey, ask me anything. Huh? Oh, okay. You don't look too happy. Did something happen? <sighs> My hero? Please, listen carefully. I'm pregnant. Oh. What? I'm going to have a baby. You're kidding. Why would I joke about that? I'm sure you want nothing to do with this. You probably just want to go home, eat chips, and play video games. Mahiru, calm down a little. So... You're pregnant. To you say fact is stranger than fiction. Anyone would be surprised if they heard something like this. Anyway, it's cold out here. So let's talk inside. Huh? If you're pregnant, the cold weather can't be good for the baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh There's a hole in the sky. I'm getting sucked in. Ah! Well, okay. <laughs> Screaming. Where am I? Where's Mahiru? Uh, Mahiru! Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It doesn't hurt anywhere. That's a relief. I thought we were at school. Where are we now? I don't know. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground. Right. Let's look for a way out of here. I think we can go this way. Let's check it out. So thrust immediately into a dungeon, huh? Alright. Yeah, this definitely looks like Conception, alright. Sprint. And you just enable or disable it. That's pretty good. Shame I can't open up the menu yet. I like to mess up the settings. Oh well. I just hope the audio. I'm, I'm gonna have to turn out the audio. Yeah, there was a reason I kept the audio as low as I had it. I'm sorry if that's annoying to some of you guys. How the audio keeps changing, getting lower and lower as the video goes on. At least the game audio, anyway. Just trying to find some like, decent balance. I should do this off screen, but. Oh well. I'm an idiot. Are you okay? 
Mahiro, are you tired? I'll be all right. We barely walked at all. Thanks for looking out for me. I still can't believe you're pregnant. To be honest, that's more unbelievable than this whole situation. Listen, Lee. You may not believe this either, but... I've never had a boyfriend. And I've never had a kid with anyone before. Huh? But... I've been feeling strange since about three weeks ago. I checked online and found my symptoms are signs of being pregnant. But if you never did stuff like that, then it must be a mistake, right? I thought the same at first. Like, maybe I was just imagining it. But I took one of those pregnancy tests and it came back positive. Huh. That must mean I'm pregnant, right? Did you go to a doctor? Not yet. I was too scared to. Then... Let's go together then, Mahiro. If you're too scared, I'll talk... I'll talk to the doctor for you. I'll be by your side until you feel better about all this. So, do you think you can go then? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's get out of this maze. Say. Yeah? Let's go back together. Then we can play games again. Right. Just like the old days. <laughs> What's wrong? Going to throw up? Uh. Oh, that's not good. A monster just came out of your mouth. What the hell is going on? Yeah. Oh no. I'm gonna die. What just happened? I feel. This power within me. Let's go. My turn. All right. Guess we're fighting now. Next up. This is very, very, very much like Conception too. I mean, as it should be. My hero, snap out of it. We're at the exit. Seriously, what the hell are we? This has to be a bad dream. Wait, my hero, there's something on your face. What is this? <laughs> Wait, there's something on your hands too. What's this? What the? It's the same as what's on your face. <laughs> We've got the same thing. We're like a couple now. You seem to be awfully calm despite the situation we're in. You think so? Compared to being mysteriously pregnant, this is nothing. That's fair. I guess. Nor! There they are! Nor! Eh? Where? What? Who? That stuffed animal is floating and talking. I see it too. Wait, I think I know what this is. It has to be a drone that uses AI or something. Or maybe it's a fairy? Hi, Mana! Isn't that a nice thing? Once you hear it, you'll never forget it. That's the kind of name it is. Wow. Not only can you talk, you can carry on a conversation. Modern figurines have really advanced from what I remember. I feel like the future is left me in the dust. Oh, what is this figurine you're talking about? You don't know that word. Um, in short, it's a toy for adults. Isn't that right? Mm, that's not how I describe it. I'm 
Mahiro Konatsuki. Hey, I was right. Mahiro. <laughs> Good. Uh, hey, why, why are you sniffing around her? I can tell you're a virgin. You smell like a green banana. Alright. What? This toy is so rude. Can you? What's your name? I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say it's some stranger. It would be careless to give my name to someone so shady. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong, am I? Just, just destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Man, this cannot be good for man of self-esteem. Mana, is this the one? Oh, I remember who wished this dude now. That's Kylie Bear. That's right, Nar! He's the god's gift this time around. Look, he has the star brand. It seems that way. I don't know why there are two of them, though. Two god's gifts. Interesting. Um, who are you? Excuse me. I apologize for the late introduction. My name is Narcissus. I am the palace scholar of the kingdom of Granvania. Granvania? It's a world in a dimension different from yours. The gods get to have come to this world and called it a fantasy world. So this is an isekai. <laughs> so, in other words, this is a parallel world? Dangerous to remain out here. There are some hungry wild animals around these parts. Oh, hold on, where are you taking us? To the castle. I would like for you to meet our king. Just, just teleport us. Yeah, okay. Oh, this looks so nice. And it looks, it looks just like the academy from Conception too. That must be what it's modeled after. This is our star energy. Your kind would probably call it magic. This place is... It's the castle town of the kingdom. Star God Academy uh, Street. Will we get sent back to our world after we meet the king? Yes, but just as I said earlier, only if you accept our king's suggestion. Please look ahead. Is that a school? That is National Star God Academy, the pride and joy of Granvania. The people of Granvania come to this academy to learn the ways of this world. I've seen this place in a movie before. You study magic here, right? The students learn to control the star energy they all hold within themselves. It's on the way, so <laughs> let's take a look around the academy. All right. It's pretty huge up close. The academy is an all-in-one educational institution. There are also many other facilities, like a church and a hospital. Oh, it looks like the star maidens are gathering. Those are the eleven star maidens who defend the peace of this nation. Star maidens? They're all young and bubbly. Does that get you excited? I'll introduce you to the Star Maidens later. Let's go to the castle. Your Majesty, I have brought them. I welcome you. I am the King of Granvania, Shangri-La. Now, I know it's wrong to, uh, to judge someone based on their voice. However, with the things I've been watching and playing lately, usually any time I come across a character that's voiced by Chris Smith, it turns out to be a villain. <laughs> like, like Arundel in Three Houses, or like the Pope in uh, Shield Hero. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I kind of have to put a little suspicion on you. 
No offense. <laughs> I'm sure you two are surprised, for what happened was quite sudden. However, please listen to what I have to say. What do you mean? Just send us back to our world already. Very well. I shall be direct then. This world is in danger. We need you two to save us. That's so sudden. You can't just tell us that out of nowhere. Of course. Narcissus, explain to them so they may understand. Allow me to give you more insight into our world. First, our world calls the world you come from, Sora. Sora is a world which hosts a civilization developed by science. And this is a world where, with a civilization developed by magic, I guess. Our world, on the other hand, is built around star energy. So yeah. I'm sure you remember, but star energy is what your kind would consider magic. Now, make sure you pay attention. This is where it gets important. Uh... So basically... There are a bunch of monsters called impurities in the Stardust Labyrinths. And the protection offered by the 12 star offerings there is about to fade. The impurities are overflowing, bringing about chaos in this world. But that won't happen. You see, each time a star offering loses its powers, a gift from the star god appears in this world to save us. You called us that before. Do you see it all coming together now? Yes. You two are the chosen gifts from the Star God. In this world, every ten years, a God's gift with the Star brand of the depowered Star Offering appears. They come from the Gate of Light, connecting this world to Sora. God's gifts have a duty to purge impurities and bring balance to the labyrinths. Thus, we need you to fulfill that duty. It must be done. The fate of the world rests on your shoulders. In other words, he and I, we can't go back to our world without saving this one? As expected of the Virgo Star Maiden, you learn quickly. But we're just students. We wouldn't know what to do. How are we supposed to save the world? <sighs> My hero! Rione, is Rione here? You rang? Take the girl to the medical office. Mahiro, are you okay? She'll be fine. She's probably just a little tired. <gasps> this star brand. Is she the Virgo star maiden? Yes. There are too many unknowns this time around. You should rest, too. Uh, Rione, can you take him with you? Not to worry. Rione is the palace physician. I'll carry Mahiro. Thank you. You know, you're quite handsome when I look at you up close. Why, thank you. I ask of you to save this world. You may return to yours after. Let's head to the medical office now. Now then, do you want to rest as well? No. We need to get back. My hero must be completely exhausted by all this. After you fulfill your duty, the Gate of Light will appear. You can both return to your world then. I'm sure you still need some time to process what we've told you. But you two are, without a doubt, God's gifts. The star brands on your bodies prove that. What is this... brand, anyway? That is proof you are a God's gift. Her mark is of Virgo. God's gifts have the star brand of the star offering whose power has been lost. One of those star offerings thing one of those star offering things dies out every ten years, right? So that means the Virgo star offering is the one that lost its powers. Strip for me. Uh what? S seems like a hard left turn in this conversation, Rione. What the Huh? Don't make a woman repeat herself. I'm telling you to take your clothes off. Okay. That's a good boy. Do you need any help? N no. Mm -hmm. You have a much nicer body than I imagined. 
I suppose it will be fine leaving our world's fate in your hands. Oh, no need to take off your underwear. Hmm? Disappointed? No. Not even. Look at your body. Huh? What's this? This is... All 12 of the constellations have their star brands on your body. It wasn't just one star offering that lost its powers. It was all 12. All 12 have. Do you understand what that means? Impurities not absorbed by the star offerings will increase 12 fold. And if they break out of the labyrinths, this world will end. Why well, that one voice line sound kind of weird compared to the other ones? Hmm. That's why we need your help. But what exactly am I supposed to do anyway? Does that mean you'll accept? I guess I don't really have a choice here. You must exchange the powerless star offerings in the labyrinths with new ones. That is the duty of God's gift. There are a bunch of monsters called uh, impurities inside the labyrinths, right? Hey, Mahiru, when did you wake up? Mahiru, are you feeling better? I've been awake since you started taking your clothes off. Ah. Uh, huh. But I didn't want to interfere, so I pretended to stay asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny one. If you ask me, that's too unreasonable. Even if it is, you have no other way of returning to your world. Besides, Mahiru, you won't be going to the labyrinths. You have another duty. What's that? I'll explain some other time. Just rest up for now. She's right, Mahiru. Just rest up and leave it to me. Alright. As she said, there are monsters dwelling in the Stardust Labyrinths. Deep inside are the Impurity Gods. Unless you defeat the Impurity Gods, you cannot place the new Star Offerings. Impurity Gods? That's what becomes of a Star Offering when it loses its powers. It begins fusing with the Impurities deep in its labyrinth, and it quickly becomes a powerful monster called an Impurity God. Why? Can't your people defeat it? You can all use magic, can't you? Unfortunately, no. The people of this world cannot defeat impurity gods. We can't even hurt one. Our long history proves that. But I'm just an ordinary human. I don't have the power to fight monsters. No. You are God's gift. You are the warrior who will save this world. And you're not alone. You have many allies on your side. You'll need the power of the Star Maidens to fulfill your duty. Now, come with me. I'll introduce you to the Star Maidens. Hey, Rio! Hold up! Your bed's ready! Wanna see? You can have some fun with any of the Star Maidens at any time now! Thanks, Mana. Mana, hold your tongue. But before we meet the Star Maidens, I'll take you to where you'll be lodging. Oh, and I'll be your guide for a while! Cool. You get to have this beauty by your side, so you better be thankful. I mean, I'd rather stay with Riona in that case. But fine. I guess I don't have much of a choice, huh? Alright, so we have the inn in the palace right now. Wow, this map is beautiful. Alright, so let's head to the inn. This will be your frontline base until you fulfill your mission. You should have everything you need. But ask Mana if you need anything else. Hold on. What's gonna happen to Mahiru? Mahiru will be given a room in another dormitory. Do you need to be with her? You two are in a relationship? What a pervert! What? <laughs> <laughs> so, what were both of you up to before you came here? That's not it. That's not it. I'm just worried about her. You can see her whenever you want. There's no need to worry. Mana, please take care of the rest. Come to the square when you're ready. I'll introduce you to the Star Maidens. Now, let me tell you what you can do at the end. Is this going to be an actual tutorial, or is this just, just, just going to be you rambling on about like some pervy stuff? Oh, actual tutorial, okay. Okay, so this is where we... So it's like the dorm room in Conception Tale. Edit team formations, store items and equipment, use other options on the menu screen, locked facilities can be unlocked for the rest of the game. 
So yeah, basically all the same stuff from Conception 2 you're able to do. fucking thing. Alright, so might as well uh, options. Here we go. Let's see. Turn on connect with other gods gifts to automatically upload your star children online. You can... Oh, that's cool. Shit, alright. Yo, if any of you guys are playing this game and want to send me your star children, uh, please do. I'll turn that on. Alright, randomly selected from your currently formed teams to be uploaded. Predetermined chance of downloading star children upon entering an inn for the labyrinth. Not occur again for a set amount of time. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn that on. Yeah, voice English. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. I just wanted to make sure I had the voices up. Yeah, fast message speed as well. Alright, so I just wanted to mess with the settings real quick. Make sure that everything was in order. I really like the UI though. The UI looks really nice. Everything about this game is pretty nice so far. Alright, so yeah, we can check everything in the database. Oh, we can play voice lines, too. Available from beginning, player, other. Available after completing each Star Maiden's ending. Star Maiden. Viewing a Star Maiden's ending will unlock voice lines for their respective characters. Oh, okay. Oh, and we can see their models as well. And we can also, uh... Uh, see, see the events again. Alright. So yeah, booties. I remember him from uh, <laughs> Conception 2. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of enemies I recognize. Alright, so let me drop my first save. I won't end the episode here yet. I'll, I'll go a little while longer. We'll see what happens. Until I reach a good saving point. Alright, represents the number of times you can meet with a star maiden before you must rest or enter a labyrinth. So, same thing as uh, Conception 2, except you have 5 this time. Well, I mean, you have 12 maidens this time instead of the 7 from Conception 2. City level, children, independent, independent children that's raised, BP, money. Yeah, I remember all this stuff. In, rest, palace, er events occur here depending on the situation. Stars, labyrinth, church for class mating. Star Guide Academy to meet up with the Star Maidens, shop, and then tavern for quests. Alright. Rio's waiting for you at the Academy. Now try going there. Alright. To the Academy. Oh, well, yeah, we'll go to the Academy first instead of the palace. I was waiting for you. Let's go to the Star Maidens classroom. These are the Star Maidens. By universal law, they are each chosen by the citizens and blessed by the Star God. Just so you know, universal law refers to the will of the Star God whom we worship. I am the Scorpio Star Maiden chosen by universal law. Come on, say hello. It can be short. Uh, Alright, here goes. You know I have to pick the last one. You're all very beautiful. <laughs> what? N nothing. That just didn't sound like something I imagined you would say. You're the type who knows how to play the field. I have a better opinion of you now. Okay. <laughs> I was just saying what was on my mind. Looks like everyone's here. How about you all introduce yourselves? 
I already did, so how about the others? All right, everyone. Let's go in order and be concise. Hello, I'm Ari. I am the Ares Star Maiden. I serve the church. I'm Tarua, the Taurus Star Maiden. I'm usually out delivering mail. Nice to meet you. I'm Lilith, and I'm a fortune teller. I'm the Gemini Star Maiden. I like that we get uh parts of their music now, too. Oh, I should mention that Lilith has an alter ego. What do you mean? Ow! Come on, I you wench! Where'd you even get that damn hammer? Why'd you hit me anyway? This is Lilith's other personality, Lilith. If you hit her upside the noggin real good, Lily comes out. <laughs> oh, okay. You can ask her for more details about that later. <laughs> Next, I'm Ruka, the Cancer Star Maiden. You don't need to remember my name. Good day. I am Femi Runa, the Leo Star Maiden. So long as I am a Star Maiden, world peace is guaranteed. I was waiting for the Ojo laugh. Oh, God's <laughs> gift. You will have nothing to worry about. As for me, uh, that's enough. I said to be concise. Next. I'm Mire, Libra Star Maiden. I mainly do research on star energy. I'm Sue. I'm Sagittarius. I love caring for animals because they're so fluffy. I'm Faroon. I'm the Capricorn Star Maiden. I was actually a traveler, but now I work at the tavern. Nice to meet ya. I'm Colette. I run the bakery Colette Sweet Wheats. I'm the Aquarius That's adorable. Star Maiden. Sweet Wheats. I hope you'll stop by to buy my bread. <laughs> Come on, Yuzuha. You're the last one. Oh, I'm, um, Yuzuha. I'm usually painting at home. And I might be the Pisces Star Maiden. Might be? Not might, you are. Including Mahiru, these are the 12 Star Maidens. So, about them! They were chosen to purge the impurities and reborn as Star Maidens. They're able to create the star offering of their constellation just the once and must fulfill their duty for the next 120 years until their powers are lost. 120 years? For that long? The ones chosen as such will never age so long as they are a Star Maiden. Maintaining your youth for 120 years seems like a sweet deal to me. But the previous Star Maidens were different. The Star Chaos three months ago made them lose their Star Offering powers. Star Chaos? Star Chaos? It is what we are calling that incident. All the Star Offerings suddenly vanished in a single night. The Star Maidens are one with the Star Offerings. That's why when the Star Offerings lose their powers, so do the Star Maidens. Then and only then do they finally complete their role as a Star Maiden. The Star Chaos caused all 12 previous Star Maidens to lose their powers. We were chosen next. They were all chosen to be Star Maidens just over a month ago. Huh. They must have been really confused to see the Star Brand on their bodies. Being chosen out of the blue must have been nerve-wracking. So much pressure. <laughs> Up till that day, none of them thought they would become a Star Maiden. But there's no time for that anymore. Even now, the Stardust Labyrinths are beginning to overflow with impurities. God's gift appears when the Star Maidens are chosen. That's how you got here. You are a rare type of God's gift with the marks of all 12 constellations. No way. Wait, so does Mahiru also have the 12 star brands on her? No, she only has the Virgo star brand. It seems she is a God's gift who is summoned as the Virgo star maiden. What, you're not sure about that? This is the first time in centuries the Star Maidens have been chosen like this. Same with how two God's gifts appeared at once. It must have something to do with the Star Chaos. Usually, only male God's gifts are summoned, due to class mating and all that. Also, the Star Maidens have always been from this world, chosen by the citizens. Huh. That's weird, then. But this time, only 11 were chosen. 
The Virgo Maiden was excluded. I wonder what makes my hero so special then. That's when my hero appeared with the Virgo Star Maiden Starbrand. There are so many things we just don't know this time around. And we got dragged into this mess. My hero. You always appear out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm always eavesdropping. Oh, okay. I suppose I don't have to repeat my explanations then. I doubt I can really serve as the Virgo Star Maiden in the first place. But I have to. Otherwise, I can't go back, right? As expected of an honor student. While I'm at it, can I ask you something? Did you spit something out when the star brand marked you? I did. It was this creepy, ugly thing. Ugh. I feel sick just thinking about it. Or is it morning sickness? Morning sickness? Uh, Mahiru is... She's pregnant. Oh, then you don't need to worry. You simply spat out the impurity within you. What do you mean? The ones chosen as Star Maidens. They expel any impurities from their bodies prior to being reborn. It varies by person, but to some, they show signs of pregnancy. Huh. Then I'm not really pregnant? Not unless he knows something we don't. <laughs> uh. I caught his sigh of relief earlier. I don't know anything. Oh, really? I thought you two would make a great couple. Don't be stupid. Why would I be with... Aw, <laughs> oh, you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Just as a precaution, I'll give you a checkup later. I may not look it, but I am the palace physician. I see. So I wasn't pregnant. Thank goodness. So what happened to the impurity she expelled? I'm pretty sure I defeated it. Amazing. As expected of a god's gift. That strength will help you enshrine the star offerings the star maidens create. What am I supposed to do? What's the star offering? I'll teach you how to conjure it later. It's a tiring ritual, but you'll be fine. Now, that's about it for the star maiden introductions. God's gift, we need to talk. Come to the church later. Got it. The church. Got it. All right, um, well, while I, th I think I'll end the episode off here, we, we met the maidens, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure in the next episode they're going to have us start class mating, so I'll end things off here, and we'll start that up tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!